Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be continuing my CQC7 uh, series of videos. Uh, this knife was uh, landed to me from one of my good friends. So this will be uh, the Emerson Knives uh, Mini CQC7. Let's see. Is there something more in the packaging? Yeah, American Knife Company. Famous in the worst places. Uh, good to know. So basically, uh, in my first video about the CQC7, I did explain how uh, this design was come to a fruition through a collaboration between uh, Benchmade Knives and uh, Ernest Emerson. If you like to to know more about the about the 970 from Benchmade, so check out my uh, my video about it, and you will be know more about the history. Not to uh, not to waste your time in this video. In this video, uh, I will be talking about just the mini CQC7. This is the model number uh, CQC dash seven BW. Stands for the Tento blade and the wave feature. So as you can see, this is definitely a smaller size knives usually uh, emerson will give you three size options so the standard the mini and then the super some of them some of the designs have also a couple of more uh size variants like for example the commander has quite a few of them so let me give you the specification really quickly we have a over length of 18 centimeters that is uh 7.1 inch uh, the blade is 7.3 centimeters or 2.9 inches. Uh, the blade thickness is uh, 2.3 centimeters or 0 0.9 inches. Uh, the blade thickness is uh, uh, 3 millimeters or 0 0.1 inch. Uh, the hand length is 10.7 centimeters or 4.2 inches with a thickness of 1.4 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches. The steel on this one used uh, is like uh, on my previous uh, Emerson's is 154cm uh, with a nice chisel ground American style Tento. You can see right there. It has those beautiful uh, setting grind lines and a top stone washed finish. Scales are made out of really coarse uh, G10. Liners are titanium, not skeletonized whatsoever. And we have a liner lock for our locking. Nicely centered. For opening we have the thumb disc and also the wave opening features which uh, can be used inside uh, the pocket. Let me show you the pocket profile very quickly and I will try to demonstrate. So the pocket clip has, I would say, medium uh, to strong stiffness to it. Definitely uh, a quite a bit is sticking out. As you can see right there and you can open it while catching the pocket and it will open right from your jean or trouser pocket. The weight comes at uh, 119 grams or 4.2 ounces. We have a full size pocket clip. And I op open back construction with uh, three spacers. The pivot assembly it rides on Nidotron uh, washers, which are Teflon impregnated nylon uh, washers. With probably some kind of silicone oil, so that you don't have to lubricate it, but. After some use, some grime and dirt can come in and then you will have to disassemble it and clean it out. 
for taking part of taking knife apart you will need no special tools only a Phillips and a flat screwdriver like our previous CQC 7s this is also a tactical icon in my opinion given that this is a smaller form factor or smaller size let me show you the comparisons between the standard full size one the intention was probably to to have uh, something smaller for either uh, somebody who has smaller hands or maybe uh, has special kind of uh, equipment in where you can store these and use them or maybe it could be a really nice knife for your child if you would like to train it how to carry a knife use it and uh, be prepared for the future of course okay for size comparisons uh, let me bring out few other knives that I have here on the table so let's start with the Benchmade bug out here is the CVV Elementum QSP Penguin CGRB Pyrite CGRB Feldspar Mini Recon One uh, This is the Mini Recon One Small Gripillion from Benchmade Paramilitary 3 from Spyderco CRKT Pillar 1 Kaiserberg Lighter 2 940 from Benchmade Red Model 2 Spiderco Delica Giant Mouse Ace Grant Rough Rider Peanut and let's close it down with the K-Bar Dozier Folding Hunter Price wise, we are looking at around 192.95, so 100, uh, 193 US dollars. Uh, these are available through Ernest Emerson directly because, unfortunately, at currently at this time, time point, he does not sell through dealers. You can also check out uh, eBay and your favorite knife forum. Uh, they should float around at around the $200 uh, dollar price point, sometimes even, even less depending on the condition but definitely if you do like the CQC7 platform but would like to have something smaller than the mini one is the way to go for me personally the full-size one is uh, 
optimal. Maybe I would like to also get in the future the super one, which is a little bit larger than this one. And, but time will, we will see, we will see. This series will be definitely ongoing as soon as I have more on different uh, CQC7 variants or inspired uh, knives that are inspired to this design. So stay tuned if you are interested for that. That being said, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. Thank you very much for uh, taking your time watching my videos. Also, big thanks uh, to my friend who is uh, graciously uh, landed this one to the channel so I can share this uh, beautiful piece of functional technical art to, to my friends here on YouTube. With that being said, wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.